Okay, so now we're going to talk about bed positioning for uh, for help with eating, drinking, and some for pressure relief. You know, a lot of times if we have somebody who is not as mobile, they spend a lot more time in wheelchairs and beds, and so it's really important that every couple hours we're repositioning. So we're going to go over a couple different options on what that looks like. So. Traditionally, we would have them lying in a bed like this. You could even have it where the head's up and the legs are up, so more of a 45 degree angle. We'll come, we'll come back to that in a second. But some things that you can consider is the, are these heel floats. So these things are like pillows for your, for your heels. Wherever there's a bony surface, like your rear end, uh, your heels, your ankles, even your knees, and sometimes even the outside part of your hip, all of those um, bony prominences are more at risk for uh, skin breakdown and a lot of times these wounds are very painful they can take a long time to heal so prevention is going to be a, a big key for this so you can use things like uh, heel floats we can also position using pillows so if i wanted to roll her one side or the other we could use a pillow underneath the draw sheet and kind of roll her i'll have her help me so i'll have to do it that way there you go and you'll notice we can kind of position her this way. So then every couple hours we can roll her back and then roll her to the other side. Uh, so that could be helpful there. Another thing you could do too is if there's still an issue with uh, where you're concerned about the heels breaking down, we could actually lift them up and put them this way so they're floating a little bit more. Um, that could be beneficial. And then in terms of like comfort positions too, and for pressure relieving, we could actually use the bed and position up this way. And this could be for sleeping, for relaxing, for eating, especially if you're gonna get the head up this way. Uh, sometimes people with lung and uh, heart issues, they don't tolerate being what we call supine or lying on their back very well. So having them elevated like this is really important as well. And then another thing to, uh, to point out with, uh, with bed positioning too, if you have somebody who is bed bound, having that at a, at a 45 degree angle like this, um, so you can help feed them. It will help the food come down, uh, go down the esophagus easier without risk for what we call aspiration or the food gets stuck in the windpipes and creates a, a condition known as pneumonia. Um, so having them elevated will be really helpful for uh, feeding and drinking as well.